Hi y'all, happy new year. Carolyn here from Pink Bunkadoo. Forgive my scratchy voice, I'm super allergic right now. But hey, crafting's gotta go on. So what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm not working on a new year's resolution, but more of a new year's aspiration. I wanted this year, 2019, to focus more on my faith and spirituality. So I'm making a little easy disc bound book because I, for Christmas gifts, made copious amounts of handmade journals and I'm giving myself a break here and just making a disc bound journal. I've got, on the outside, I've got some monoprint, some jelly print, and the inside's watercolor paper. So that's all that is, easy peasy. If a jelly plate isn't your thing, just get some gorgeous pattern paper and your book is gonna look terrific, really. I'm hoping to do one of these a week and I've got this on the blog and on YouTube this time, but I think after this, I'm just gonna put it on YouTube and catch you guys up at the end of the month. So you can check it on YouTube or you can wait for it to come to you on the blog. Either way, whatever makes you happy. I'm just looking through all the words on my Paper Faith stickers and choosing the right ones. It's really surprising how often these words fit in so many of my projects. One really cool thing about a disbound journal is you can pop the paper right out. That way, you don't have to worry about any products you use bleeding onto another sheet, and you can cover the whole thing if you want to. Here, I'm inking up a background stamp with some Distress inks. My plan is to use clear embossing powder to do a watercolor resist. You can use any color embossing powder, and you can use watercolors, or you can get Distress Ink, you know, watercolor with that. And you can even use scribble sticks like I'm gonna do here. Because this background stamp is scribbly, I'm adding some scribble sticks in a loose and relaxed way. I'm not fussing with it at all.
Yeah, I messed one of my pages up, but I just flipped it over to use the back. I didn't want to waste anything. Now I'm stamping this butterfly stamp with some Versamark ink. And then I'm using some detailed black embossing powder. I think sometimes when you're doing an intricate design, you want to use a detailed embossing powder so you get a crisper um, image. I'm watercoloring half my butterfly with Fine Tech watercolors. They have a shimmer to them. And then the other half I plan to use just gray scribble sticks to kind of indicate um, the new year shiny and bright and the old dull tired year. I'm going to cut this butterfly and it's going to look like two when I'm done with it. Since my background is embossed and bumpy, I really wanted my butterfly to stick, so I'm weighing it down here so it'll really adhere to my background, and I'll do that with the other half of the butterfly too. I do this all the time. If I trace around my butterfly with the Stabilo All Pencil and add a little water, it makes a shadow and helps it stand up from that busy background. Thank you. 
I'm working on my words. I'm taking a scripture that was meaningful to me and paring it down to the most meaningful words. Because after all, I don't think I mentioned this, but the book is four and a half by four and a half, so it's a very tiny little book. Um, it's so fun. I don't practice calligraphy or handwriting. Um, I'm just using my own everyday handwriting, and it's okay because this is my book, and it's about uh, my expression of the scripture. I'm also using India ink because it's going to dry permanently and allow me to add color over the top. It's good to move around your pieces and get them in the exact position that you want. And as I hear this down, I want you to notice that I have a very old bottle of multimedia mat. And so I'm squeezing the last little bit out. It kind of explodes everywhere, but I'm kind of a waste not want not girl. So I just go ahead and use the big glob and use as much of it as I can. My plan is to leave the back blank so that I can journal about the scripture and save room to do it again throughout the years as I have more thoughts or I learn new meaning from it. Mm -hmm. 